When you're treating a patient with cataracts, the DGH 6000A scan gives you two great ways to measure your patient's eye and calculate the correct power for their new lens implant. The direct contact method is preferred by some technicians, but there's always a chance that you could indent the cornea and get an inaccurate measurement. For best results, we recommend the water immersion technique instead. First, prepare your equipment. You'll need the DGH 6000 transducer, a saline reservoir like a syringe or a squeeze bottle, plastic catheter tubing, and a Prager shell designed to work with the DGH 6000 probe. Both the ultrasound transducer and the Prager shell must be cleaned and disinfected before each biometry procedure. Please see the user manual for complete instructions. In addition, the sterile catheter tubing must be replaced for each new patient to prevent cross-contamination. And please note, the catheter tubing we provide with the Prager shell includes a backflow check valve, so you can use a syringe or a sterile BSS squeeze bottle as your reservoir. If you're using your own catheter tubing without a check valve, please only use a syringe. Now, connect the catheter tubing to the Prager shell. For help, please refer to the instruction sheet included with the Prager shell. Next, gently insert the ultrasonic probe into the shell until it stops, and secure it with the set screw. Make sure the probe is secure, and tighten the screw as needed. And of course, be sure to administer routine topical anesthetic to the patient's eye. When the anesthetic has taken effect and you're ready to begin the scan, just launch our ScanMate software and click on the Patient tab. Fill in the patient's name and other details, or search for a patient if you've entered them before. Be sure to click Save, and then move on to the A-Scan tab. Open the drop-down at the bottom of the screen and choose Immersion. And on the right, specify which operator is performing this measurement. Select the patient's lens type. For instance, do they have a standard cataract or a dense cataract? And choose normal vitreous or silicone oil. The details you've chosen will appear at the top of the screen. Please make sure they're correct. Click the Change I button to select OD or OS. And when you're ready, click Start Scan. Now place a towel on the patient's shoulder along with a saline reservoir. Hold the probe and shell in your hand and make sure the tubing is comfortable for you and for your patient. Have the patient look downward, lift their upper eyelid, and insert the rim of the Prager shell underneath the lid. Then have the patient look straight ahead, lift their lower eyelid, and gently pivot the shell into position centered around the limbus. This pivotal motion avoids contact with the cornea. You can rest your palm on their forehead to stabilize your hand and the probe. With your other hand, pick up the reservoir and slowly add saline to fill the shell. When you've added enough, you'll hear a series of beeps as the unit automatically begins to detect the alignment of the probe. To get a measurement, you'll need to achieve proper alignment with the visual axis. Gently move the shell around the sphere of the eye and listen to the beeps. The faster they get, the closer you are to correct alignment. When you hear a high-pitched beep, hold still. Your alignment is perfect. Each high-pitched beep indicates a successful measurement being recorded. With practice, the whole process will be effortless. Just insert the rim of the shell under the patient's eyelid, pivot the shell into position, add saline until the unit starts to beep, adjust your alignment, and hold still as the unit takes its measurements. When you're finished, have the patient look straight ahead, lift their upper eyelid, pivot the shell downward, releasing the saline, gently pull the shell away, and use the towel to absorb any excess water. Come back to the ScanMate software and you'll see the waveforms for every ultrasonic pulse on the left, and on the right, your eight final measurements. We'll show you how to navigate this screen and calculate the power for your patient's new lens in our next video. Thanks for watching. To learn more, just visit www.dghtechnology.com.
www.thepowerofpositivity.com.